Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Now in this one I'm going to give you like two teams ideas for Boss Superman, Boss Collector Award Superman. This is by far one of the most annoying bosses that we have in a Soul Raid event and you can't deny that this specific boss is making your life a living hell just because of how tough he is to defeat. And uh, this is the boss in Heroic 3, I believe. It has almost 2 billion health. And you have like two teams that do the most damage against this boss. And these are the teams that I'm suggesting you using with, <clears throat> with any cost. Like just get these characters, compose this team and get the specific artifact that I'm going to, um, to suggest you if you have those. And if you are using this specific team combinations, your life is going to be much more easier in this Soul Raid event. Now, this boss is immune to a lot of things. He uh, He's immune to, to crits. Uh, he's resistant to that. He is resistant, resistant to a lot of stuff. Uh, but luckily, he's not immune to lethals. So that means Brainiac with Raven works like a charm. Now, the artifact that I'm using on Raven is Beta Club at level 10. We have Brainiac, which is 6 stars, and we are, we are having also Sword of Sin on Brainiac to cut down the defense from Bass Superman because he has like 80% defense. So, you, obviously, you either need Classic Superman or Sword of Sin to, to be able to stand a chance against this guy. At the beginning of the match, the strategy is to cycle between Raven's Darkness and Brainiac's special ones to build up the, the damage and to inflict the dot from Beta Club. Also, the Sword of Sin is going to take care the, uh, of the defense from Collector of, of War Superman and also power drain him so that he doesn't screw up your, uh, the flow of the fight. Beta Club, it's already at 800k and we have... We have only four stacks of darkness. This is the five stack of darkness, but the Brainiac uh, little attack damage stack from special one, it's not maxed. Now we have two million. And on the uh, if you see that you are at five stacks of darkness, you need to jump uh, jump up on the um, on the head of the Superman with the jump with the jump attack uh, because that jump attack inflicts more damage on the beta club and it resets the beta club damage so that's how you get the most damage output now my raven is only four stars and she's a tank she doesn't have any attack any critical attack damage any critical attack chance but critical attack damage and chance is not going to play a huge role in this fight because he's immune to crits we you only rely on the critical attack damage from brainiac we reached nine million because we cycled between the darkness and the special ones from Brainiac and I believe we are at max stacks of the special one uh, or we are now at least yeah 10 stacks we are at maximum now we are doing the super move from Raven and we reset it with a jump attack dealing 10 million damage per dot which is a huge value but sadly we lost the stacks <laughs> So that was the main drawback of this fight and the reason why I didn't do as much damage as expected. But it was nevertheless a good chunk. Now, the reason why you see Harley there, I didn't mention before. This guy is, has like an 80% dot resistance. So Harley has a passive where he de she decreases the critical uh, the dot resistance from the opponent by 75%. So that allows us to do insane amount of damage from the beta club if we didn't had harley you didn't you wouldn't saw like 10 million damage from the beta club so and also on harley i had a level 5 war suit so it was 600 million damage which i believe it's a very respectable amount of damage considering the fact that i lost the darkness once that raven is not a damage dealer it's only a tank she has like 3k attack and that's it She's not a damage dealer, she's just 4 stars, um, my artifacts are not maxed, my gameplay was kinda, sh kinda shit because this was my first att attempt on um, trying this team, and we lost the darkness. If I didn't lose the darkness, this would have been easily 700 to 800 million damage, and doing that amount of damage against Collector War Superman I believe is quite respectable. 
because I don't know a lot of teams that, that can actually do that, considering the fact that Black Manta kills himself and he only does around 20, 30 mil with Brainiac. Uh, Batman Ninja team doesn't work, and if it does, they do like 30 million against this boss. Any other team doesn't do anything, and you need to rely only on this team. Now, this was a, a respectable amount of damage. Uh, but we are going to keep the fight going with Raven, with King and Harley. Instead of Brainiac, I put King and I try to do the same thing. Now, uh, the Beta Club is on King of Atlantis. We have Sword of Sin on Raven and we have level 5 Warsuit on Harley. The reason we are keeping Harley Queen is because... Like I told you, he has a lot of that resistance and she makes sure that our beta club is going to do the job just fine. Because without Harley, even your beta club is not going to do shit against this boss. So we need to rely heavily on the darkness combined with the stacks from uh, King of Atlantis Special 2s. Now, uh, the only drawback from this fight is our power generation because we using Sword of Sin on Collector Award Superman uh, makes us unable to steal his, um, his his power and also Raven having Sword of Sin instead of Warsuit doesn't allow her to have the buff where she actually power drains as, as you see she gets that damage when she uses her special one she doesn't get that buff where she can actually power steal the opponent so we are kind of struggling with the power generation and we are only at, let me see, now we are at 5 stacks of darkness and now we need to only keep the darkness up, uh, reset the, the beta club with the jump attack so that we do the maximum amount of damage and now we just build King of Atlantis uh, maximum damage and see how the fight is going and what is going to be the, uh, the maximum damage. We have 3.5 mil, but we also need to always keep in mind to tag in Raven so that we don't lose the darkness. Uh, now we are using from time to time the special tree to deal that percentage damage because that is also important. You need to rely on um, on King's, King's advantages. I tried to reset, but he blocked and we, we deal 5.2 million. We deal 6.1 million with, without the super move. We reset the darkness just in time. 7.2 million right now. But he blocked that jump attack. I could have done the super move. But I chose to do more percentage damage from, from King Special 3. And we are at 5, 5 mil. And he actually abuses me. 5 mil, 5 mil. Resetting. Blocked. He blocked that. That 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 was that hurt my soul. That, that hurt my soul. Uh, 18 seconds. I didn't do the super move, which made made me anxious. But at least the damage is satisfying to watch. Now the super move, 20 mil damage. I forgot to reset the beta club. Sadly, fuck it. Jump attack, resetting, and we do five mil. So that was it. Not the cleanest fight. I got my ass whooped a couple of times, but we dealt. 720 mil when he was um when he was under 1 billion health so this is by far the most damage i did ever against this boss and this was my strategy that th those were the teams that i that i actually try to combine and see how they work uh, you obviously need sort of scene, you need war suit, you need beta. This is like a more pay to win version of how to actually defeat Collector War Superman. But honestly, there is no other way for you to to wipe the floor with this guy in two days. There is no other way for you to do 500 mil plus in one single pip. If you don't have a beta, if you don't have war suit. If you don't have sort of scene, if you don't have Raven, there is no other way. Sadly, uh, there are other alternatives. 
you can use king in the normal team but it's going to take you a lot of time but this is the only way you can actually wipe the floor with this uh, specific boss it's one of the most pay to win experiences that we have in just the mobile is one of the most pay to win solo raid bosses and yeah if you want to far price of krypton you need the artifacts that i suggested you and you need to try out these specific teams uh, in order to get the most damage output i hope this video was helpful for some of you guys and uh, if it if it was make sure to drop a like and share it with your league mates so that collector of world superman wouldn't be such a pain in the ass for everybody take care guys peace